Hello everyone and welcome to another Roaring Records tutorial. Today I want to talk about how you might set up an instrument or singer, whatever. If you were using um, an audio input device that had two inputs like this, how might you set that up in Logic so that you had a talkback microphone and the opportunity to have another person, say, in a studio, in a different room, in a closet. However, so that the two of you could communicate um, effectively while recording. So, uh, first thing is make sure you have your audio box or whatever it is set up and plugged into the computer. Um, and then you would want to attach a microphone say something like this using an XLR cable for a microphone into channel one of your audio box and plug it in till it clicks and then you would want to go into logic make sure you hit the plus button here you want to create an audio track on input number one Confirm that you're using the right device, that you want to input monitor. That means that you can hear while um, hear live feedback from the microphone as you're going. And you want to go ahead and record enable and then create this track. So now we have a live uh, microphone set up. And let's go ahead and label this one as Talkback. I just double clicked on the title of that to enter it and then you can click off of it to save that. So this is going to be our talk back microphone. In the end, we're just going to delete this track because it's not going to have anything important on it. But for now, it's going to have what we need. Then you'll plug up your second microphone and we'll plug it into channel number two. So now we have two microphones plugged into our preamps. Um, and we'll go ahead and set up channel number two. So we'll add the plus symbol. Now we need to go and tell it that we're using input number two. We need these two to be on separate so they'll record from separate microphones. Again, input monitor and record enable. That's it. Now we can label what we have. into that so that we'll be able to remember what uh, part was being played there and now whoever is in the studio will have access to this microphone or instrument or whatever you have hooked up and you will be available to record on the talkback microphone now both of them need to be flashing r in order for you both to hear and be monitored at the same time if not then you're not going to hear one or the other of you so um, just make sure you, you check that both are flashing, both eyes are lit up orange that allow you to continue to hear each other. And then you'll record whatever you record during this time is all good. It doesn't matter if you talk, especially if you're in separate rooms, whatever they're recording will go in on this line. You can see it's recording both at the same time. And then when you're done, eventually you just go back and be like, hey, I really didn't want the information on that talk back mic. So I'm going to delete it. So that is how you would set up a talk back microphone. The last thing I want to point out is that you need to make sure that your gain knobs are set appropriately for the microphone. On this audio interface, each one of these is a gain knob. You'll see that it's labeled... Uh, down below two and one respectively so right now this knob controls my um, microphone talkback microphone gain and this knob controls my studio gain and depending on what type of microphone you have you might also need to press the phantom power button so if you're using a condenser microphone you'll want to make sure that you have the phantom power button pressed and that light is glowing so that the microphone will have the necessary power it needs to pick up. I highly recommend that as you test your microphone, you go such on the gain knob that the yellow uh, is just starting to show up right here on the 
input meter. So if you're getting all the way to orange and red, that's too loud. You need to turn the input meter down so that it is softer. If it's uh, barely getting any green down here, then you need to turn the input meter up or the gain knob up so that the input meter um, is preferably going in the middle of this bubble, um, assuming the bubble is at uh, zero. Um, so that's just a good rule of thumb to use to make sure you're getting the right gain level. Also remember to test your studio musician for the same uh, characteristic based on their gain knob. I hope this was helpful. Uh, enjoy.